Hello again, let's do more business news. More industry players are kicking against move by government to tax mobile money transaction. The latest is CEO of the telecoms chamber, Ken Ashibe. According to Mr. Ashibe, taxing mobile money will collapse young businesses. Ghana Telecoms Chamber has warned that any attempts by governments to impose taxes on mobile money services will defeat all efforts at digitizing the economy and improving financial inclusion. CEO of the Chamber, Ken Ashibe adds, the Finance Ministry through the Ghana Revenue Authority must rather be innovative with how best mobile money services can be used to whip up tax payments. When you tax that, what then you then do is that you prevent the people from using that to engage in production so that you can then be able to generate you know, your tax at the end of it. So we are of the firm view that taxing the transaction akin to you know, the banking, financial services would not be in the right direction. There are examples that are not far away from us. If you look at uh, the Uganda example where they taxed mobile money, immediately what happened was that usage dropped. A 2018 tax distribution index by the Telecoms Chamber showed that the industry paid in total of 2.2 billion cities tax in 2018 alone a figure slightly higher than the one point than the 1.9 billion city average in 2017 Ken Ashikbe explained the details of this report. The total that, uh, for 2018, the total came to 2.2 uh, billion. And, you know, the top line is if you take them, uh, CST makes about 19 plus percent, which is 420 million. Uh, then you also have your uh, VAT, which is 104, 430 million. That's also around the 19 percent. And then you have uh, corporate income tax, um, that is at 343 million. Then you have your withholding tax that is collected on behalf of government, 293 million. Meanwhile, the Ghana Telecoms Chamber has also debunked claims of members under declaring profit, saying such claims go a long way to affect investment inflows. The local weaving industry continues to face stiff competition due to the influx of similar fabrics and prints into the country. Even the traditional kente cloth is a threat and ex of extinction from the indiscriminate imports phenomenon. There's, however, a new trend where names of some local celebrities are given to various patterns of the traditional fabric as a way of promoting and marketing the product. Prince Apia looks at the impact of high profits and popular persons wearing the kente cloth as a sale and marketing tool. This is the historic Bonre Weaving Centre in Ashanti region. Many tourists visit here quite often because they are attracted by the culture and beauty of Kinte all year round. We were inundated with Kinte cloth and there were so many people selling the cloth. I chose to buy white and gold. Um, I think this fabric and each fabric has a story which I think is really beautiful. and. Um, that each one has like a different name and meaning, uh, which I thought was really beautiful as well. It's Frank Sapon's weaving shop. With many years of experience in the industry, he's worried the influx of Chinese kente print is taking a toll on the business. The kente be two thousand, two thousand five. material, no be to be twenty cities, no pump. Importation of the printed kinte is killing our business. Kinte cloth that sells at 2,000 cities. The Chinese pirates it and sell as low as 20 cities. It is not good for us. Due to cumbersome processes of producing kinte, its prices are higher than the normal wax print. Depending on the type, it ranges from 500 to 2,000 Ghana cities. As a result, players in the industry have adopted innovative ways of marketing and selling the local kente cloth. The popular kente cloth comes in so many colors and so many names. This here is called Obama because the ex-president of the United States wore it. Now this woman right is John Dumelo because he wore it to his wedding and this is Gifty Auntie because she wore it most and popularized it. 
All these come together to help the weavers to market these products onto the Ghanaian and international market. Here at Tech Junction Kumase, it's one of the Kinte retail points where Joseph Boache has been selling for 12 years. He acknowledges the impact of these names of celebrities on sales. Jinsu is a cloth that exists already, but after Sakodia wore it for his wedding, the name changed to Sakodia. So when celebrities wear, it helps with sales. There is also Obama and Giftianti. If I love the person and he or she wears it, I'm compelled to buy same. For me, I buy because it is nice on the celebrities. Perhaps increased association to and wearing of kente by celebrities could be the non-tariff difference in the fight against piracy for survival of the local industry. Prince Apia reporting. Interesting report by Prince Apia. Can't wait to have one renamed after me. Let's hit the commodity market now for some updates. And crude oil traded today at $63.75 a barrel after dropping minus 0.52 cents. Precious mineral gold also lost minus $5.81 to sell at $1,455.58 an ounce. business i am sandra snm afini thanks so much for watching but you can log out onto our website myjoonline.com for slash business for more business updates